I am back, baby. Did you miss me? So, I recorded one of these videos, posted it. I realized I made a slight error, so I wanted to re-record to prevent anyone, leading anyone astray. So what I want to do in this video is talk a little bit about the unemployment and labor force participation rate and give you a general sense on how I approach these questions and what makes the most sense to me. There's a couple different ways you could approach it. If you don't want to implement what I teach you here, that's totally cool. All that matters, I think, that anyone cares about is that we're getting the questions right and that we understand the principle. So the first thing is understanding what is the unemployment rate and what is the labor force participation rate. And there's two equations associated with this. So if it's the unemployment rate, U R is I'm going to put as unemployment rate. We have our unem it's unemployment, which is represented by U over oh 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 U plus E, where E is employed. Okay, and then we have our labor force participation rate. And this is where I made the error last time. And basically, it is this denominator right here. You just put it back right there. It's the U plus E, which is the unemployed and the employed, all over the population. And this is important because it's the actually, it's not just the population, but it's the adult population. So, um, so this is essentially anyone that is alive that is over the age of 18 years old is counted in this denominator. I don't care if they're, you know, starting companies, they're entrepreneurs, unemployed, um, <laughs> or if they're, uh, I, you can't see my hands, but I did the double quotes when I said entrepreneurs. Uh, it's a joke because, you know, you know, like when you go on a date, have you ever been on, uh, this is a silly question, if I'm asking a BYU student if they've ever been on a date, um, and then you're like, so I guess it's really not much of a problem with students, it more as you know, when they're older, after they're students, and you're like, what do you do for work? And then they say, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. And, you know, it's really actually code for they're unemployed. But, I mean, at BYU, it makes sense. There's a lot of entrepreneurs that are actually not unemployed. They actually probably make more money than I do, you know, being an econ 110 TA. Okay, um, moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, so then we have, so first of all, let's define each of these terms. So what is the U? What is this unemployed? Okay. Unemployed. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why is that so big? So I use this iPad also. Um, I'm a youth basketball coach. I coach 11-year-old basketball, and I use this iPad to drop my plays. So um, that's how it goes. Okay. So... We have, what is this U? So the U is everyone that is unemployed. What does it mean to be unemployed? Well, obviously not have a job, but it's important it, when, they, when they're unemployed, they're actively looking for a job, okay? Retired people are not unemployed. They're not in the unemployment, in the U, I should guess you could say, because they're not looking for a job. So people that have maybe been fired recently, um, and then people that are actively, that don't have a job or actively looking for a job are counted in the U. The E is obviously people that are employed, and I believe it's everyone with a full-time job. So I don't think we count part-time job. Um, you might need to double-check that, but I'm pretty sure you don't count part-time, um, unless it clarifies and says so. So anyone with a full-time job, students, full-time students don't get counted in either, because one, unless they're actively looking for a job, most, most students are not looking for a full-time job, unless you're about to graduate. Um, so they want to get counted. Okay, so this is what the unemployment rate is. So we're going to use red for you. Um, what is this? Like a. This is blue for E. Ugh, it's still big. Okay. And then we got U plus. Okay. Cool. Are we good? 
Okay, so then what is this labor force participation rate? So like I said, the UNE is the same thing. The adult population is everyone that is a living that is above the age of 18 years old. So this only, this denominator, this adult population only changes when there is lit like deaths or people, you know, have a birthday and they turn 18 years old. Okay, so we're gonna, um, yeah, so adult population. Okay. And then we got the U plus the E. Okay, and sometimes in this denominator, you'll see like this, you'll see U plus E plus N. What that N is, is just people that it's standing for not in the workforce, which is if you just add it all together, it's basically everyone that's alive that's, you know, above the age of 18. So same thing. I just don't, you know, less, less variables, less letters, the better, you know, just stick with what you know. Okay, so let's look at this problem. So Matilda just graduated from college, must be nice. Uh, in order to devote all her efforts to college, she didn't hold a job. She's now sending out resumes, but has not yet been hired. Other things the same, the unemployment rate blank and the labor force participation rate blank. So the way I approach this is I just put in, you know, fictitious, super easy numbers that make sense to me for each of these. So let's say the U, let's say that there's five people that are unemployed, okay? And there's five people unemployed, and then we're gonna put, we're gonna say there's also five people that are employed. So this is before anything happens, okay? And then let's say that there is 20 people in this world that are alive that are above the age of 18, and then we have five, and then we have another five. Okay, and this is before the problem happens. That looks like an S. Okay, can you see this? Sometimes that happens. Okay. So if I were to calculate the unemployment rate, well, it's pretty simple here. It's just going to be, oh, what is that? 5 over 10, which is equal to 50%. Same thing over here. This is equal to 10 over 20, which is equal to 50%. Awesome. So now, so like I said, fictitious numbers. I just put in to get a general sense. So then what happens? In her efforts, she didn't hold a job. Now she's sending out resumes, but has not yet been hired. So she's sending out resumes. She's looking for a job, but hasn't been hired yet. Where does that go? Back to the door of the Explorer? Yeah, you're right. Um, it, it's in you, if you were, you know, swipe or no swiping, okay. Um, so it's gonna go here. So the U is gonna increase. So we're gonna say it increases by one, okay. So now to adjust these numbers, so it's gonna be six over six. Now, this is important. Is the person coming from the employed? No, she wasn't employed, she was a student. She didn't have a job, so does the E change? It doesn't decrease and it certainly doesn't increase because she doesn't find a job. So it stays the same, okay? So this is gonna be six over 11, which if I can do math, what is 6 divided by 11? What is 6 divided by 11? It's approximately 0 0.5455. Thanks, Siri. Okay, so this is about like 55% roughly. Okay, so we got that number and we got this number. So this is, this is what it used to be. This is what it is now. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, then we do the same thing for the next one. Um, so U plus E, so this is gonna increase to, let me do it, six. Like we talked about, the E does not change, five. Okay, does the adult population, oh, you can't see this. Yeah, you can. Does the adult population change? Did anyone have a birthday? No, she's still an adult college student. Did she die? Did anyone die? No. So the adult population doesn't change, so it stays at 20. So now this is 11 over 20 which if you do math, uh, what is that, like 55% again? Yeah, 55%. Okay, so as you can see, it used to be here. So the unemployment rate increased and the labor force participation rate also increased. So it will be this one. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. As always, let, you, let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, just plug in numbers and then understand which variables change, okay? You really just need to know what U is, what E is, and then if you can identify if people die or have birthdays. So, Adam out.